Hi folks and welcome. I hope you're having a good day. I am Solvash and in this video we are going to show you how to mine Shiba Inu coins and just overall to begin with Shiba is it's a meme coin. Um, they have so much that you is available so there is a set amount of them. You can buy them. Um, easiest way would be probably just to go over to coin market cap and let's look for Shiba Inu. It's probably going to be in the top somewhere. Here we go, right there. So just to be able to buy it, yeah, you can buy it on quite a bunch of different markets that is available on. But in this video, I want to show you how to mine Shiba Inu. Now, before you go down in the comments and say you can't mine Shiba Inu, obviously you can't. It's not a mineable coin. But there is a website that lets you mine coins like this. Uh, so we're going to be using unminable again today and basically we're going to go to unminable.com and you're going to want to click right here and you can go to the shiba inu coin now for this video we are going to be using phoenix miner and if you need to know how to use this software and what to do to get started i will leave a video down in the description below on how to set all of this up but for this video we are going to be doing a Etash algorithm and we are going to be pointing it to unminable and we're going to be using roughly about 40 mega hash with one GPU. So if you're using your gaming PC to mine Shiba instead of buying it, it could be a better option because right now the prices of Shiba are down and you can get quite a bit of them. Say so for instance, just to give you an idea of before we get into how to do this, say looking at the charts, Say you have a 2080, you are looking at about 45.4 mega hash, right? So if you had 45.4 mega hash mining this, you'd get roughly 404,718 in 24 hours. And that equates to, what is that, 12,141,559 in a month. Now, this is just one gaming PC. It's not it's nothing too crazy. I mean, a 2080. I'm sure there's quite a bunch of people that have one. And even with the older cards, like for instance, you can go back, even if you have like a AMD 5500 XT, it's a six gig card that would work. It's 26 mega hash. And even with 26 mega hash, you could still get quite a few coins in one day, 231,797. So how to do this, let's get into it. Phoenix Miner, of course, if you don't know what you need to do with it, we're going to need this right here to set everything up. This is to start the bat file. The only thing we're going to need to replace is the coin and the worker address, the worker name, and uh, your referral code. Because with this service, you do have a referral code. As you can see right here, mining fee is usually at 1%, which if you use a referral code, you can get 0.25 off. So you can get a little bit extra over time, and it's it, it can be helpful. So getting started, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like in the actual bat file. So here we go. We're going to open this up and here's what our actual bat file looks like. Everything copy pasted. I just replace that with SHIB and your wallet address right there. This is the name of the rigs. This is the RTX 2070, which does about 40 mega hash in a day. And we have our hashtag with a referral code right here at the end. That's all you, all we need to get started and here we go. So get into it and quick double click. It's going to run, it's going to generate everything. We're going for the DAG, it's at 4.3. And it shouldn't take too, too long just to finish this DAG, I'll probably roughly about 10 seconds. And after that, the miner will start mining sheep. And if you're wondering like the returns on it, of course, obviously right now it is like a very low coin, but compared to others, you know, if you want to stack on, stack up, you know, get a good, good bag of them. I'd say, you know, good 10, 20 million of them. Just leave them there for a rainy day some other time. That's kind of my plans right now. Uh, but currently with everything recording on the PC and all, we're only hitting about 31 mega hash with it. So, but if everything's off, it will hit around 40 right here. You can see we found a share. Now, just so you can understand like what is happening right here. Uh, so obviously you see it's Etash and it says ETH share found. So kind of what Unminable is doing, 
from my assumption and from my research and everything that I've looked into, basically what it's doing is we're, we're mining Ethereum, but on the back end before anything is done, they are basically paying you out in whatever currency you want to. In this case, we're going to, we're mining Shiba Inu tokens. So that's what it's going to be pay, paying us out in. So we're going to move this over here out of the way and let's have a look and we're going to plug in the address and see where we're at so far. See if it's being recognized. And there we go. It is being recognized at 31, just like it was showing right here in the miner, 30 to 31. And we're doing pretty good. Uh, it's been roughly uh, not even 48 hours and it tells you your average. So over the past 24 hours, I've averaged 455,000 Shiba Inu tokens just with running this on my gaming PC. Now, it is a, not a bad return. So you're looking at, let's go to a Shiba Inu token converter. All right, and let's see here. Let's see what that's gonna turn into. So for the past 24 hours, we are looking at 455,000. So if we were to have 455,000 Chiba, that's gonna be roughly $2.90 worth. Now, about three bucks worth, that's not bad, but it is low right now. Prices can go up. As you can see, they did have quite a dip here recently, but it's coming back up. And with all the projects and everything they have come on, uh, like Shiba Swap, things like that, it, you know, this is what I consider speculative mining. Um, even though you're not able to really mine these coins, we're just kind of trading them on the back end before we get paid out. Now, obviously, people are going to be worried about like what type of fees or am I losing some? Uh, but from me doing the calculations, I'm, I'm not really losing any extra. I was, I was actually getting more than what it actually says. So I'm running 40 mega hash, right? So 40 mega hash, it says I should only be getting 354,767, but I am getting way more than that. Uh, almost a hundred thousand more to be exact. So, you know, it can go up and down depending on the base of luck because we're obviously mining Ethereum and those rewards are based off of the extras that the gas fees are being paid to transfer it. Right now, it's not very much. Uh, Ethereum block is generally two Ethereum. And then right now the fees are like maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And that's dispersed across, you know, however many people are on the service. And right now there's 117,695 mining rigs on unminables pools so you know it gets dispersed across everyone depending on how much power you have uh, if you have any questions you need to know anything about this uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the description and let's go back over here and i'm going to show you one more thing now the payout for sheep is 700,000 sheep tokens uh, and they do have automatic payments so every four hours starting at midnight utc they start doing them uh, and you can turn it off and you can do it whenever you want to. All you got to do is click now and it'll ask you yes to continue. Uh, and as far as validity of this website, I've been using this specific website for roughly, I say, four to five months now, just testing with these different coins because, you know, they, they offer a variety of different things you can mess with and they are adding them on a rather normal basis, I would say every month or two, they add a coin or two to the system. So it's a really cool way to kind of get some coins instead of investing your money into it. You know, you could just throw your gaming PC at it when you're not using it. You know, if you go to bed, you could just click this. You know, it just takes one click and you're off going to the race. Not really much else you have to do after that. Um, you can do some tweaking to your card for the core clock and the, the VRAM other than that. I mean, undervolt it and you could get a little bit more mega hash out of it. I think if I didn't, um, if I didn't actually go in and tweak the one I'm currently using, I would get around 35, 36 mega hash. But with the tweaks and everything, it averages between 40 and 41 mega hash. Uh, but like I said, if you have any questions about this, how to mine Shiba Inu or any other questions you would like to ask, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I want to make this as short and simple as possible. So if you have any questions, feel free. Like I said, uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you again, and we will see you guys in the next one.